Hey, is that a wolf? Is that an elk? Is that a butterfly? Where am I? What's going on? Why is there a big, large, meteorite-looking object in the sky that seems like it might actually kill all of us? Oh, wait a second, I know what this is. This is Echo, an alpha release of a game that promises quite a lot and is finally out. Welcome to What The Math. Today we're going to be taking a look at Echo. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to What The Math. So like I said, this is an early alpha release of Echo that has just been released officially on November 24th, I believe, 2015. Now this game is in early, early alpha, but I'm going to show you what it has so far and what it promises to deliver. So you can see I kind of build up a little bit of my home base and um, I've also planted a few things because I need food in this game. The food is really important. So let's start with the interface. So what is this game and how does it work? So basically it does borrow a lot of things from Minecraft, but it does have a lot of really awesome original things. So first of all, it is going for more of a educational slash academic um, sort of environment. And here you have things like calories, which is, you know, if you're a science teacher, you may want to use this because here it expresses your energy, not in hunger, but in calories, uh, specifically kilocalories. You also have something called body mass. This is how much you weigh, or in this case, I weigh. And it says being overweight or underweight will slow you down. So uh, you may want to actually maintain your body mass and not get too fat, which I'm actually getting a little bit fatter right now, uh, and also not get too skinny. Uh, something called skill multiplier is, um, so this is uh, something you, you get from uh, eating specific amount of carb uh, carbs, proteins, fat, vitamins and sodium and this is of course related to your skill gain now this game has something called skill gain where you're uh, you basically assign a skill like for example i want to get better at farming i'm going to click on it and as i play the game or as i basically have my character created and um this character is on the server this will increase automatically by itself i don't have to do anything so it's sort of like a timed skill increase depending on how old your character is uh, so this is a skill multiplier and obviously skills will increase faster if you eat better food. Um, and also there is something called speed and being hungry, underweight or overweight will affect your speed. So don't be hungry, don't be fat, don't be skinny. My birds or these birds are eating my plants, so I'm, I'm going to actually shoot them away. Hopefully they will implement some sort of a scarecrow in the future because these little jerks are eating my food. Anyway, so uh, what does this game have in terms of actual... Um, building and economy and so on and so forth. So let's start with the inventory. I'm going to click on the backpack here. You'll notice that I have quite a lot of stuff already, but um, things like uh, building blocks, which are specifically logs, lumber, and a uh, row stone uh, are basically everywhere. For example, if I start, if I take my shovel and I start digging in here, I can actually dig through this mountain until I find rock. Once I find rock, I can start mining that rock to try to get more rock material so I can start building things. So as you can see, this is how it kind of works. Still very early alpha, like I said, so it doesn't really have the, any kind of cool effects yet, but it, it does work. It's, I mean, it does work. It does what it is supposed to do. So if I click on this, I'm going to start digging it. Um, now, the, let's find some minerals so I can show you what they look like. I think there's some right here. And we're going to mine them using a pickaxe. Now, in the beginning of the game, you just start with an axe. So you have to make all of these by yourself. You have to actually create all of these using a bench that you create early on using the, I believe, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. It's, I think it's called a workhouse or something like that. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm mining what seems to be, what am I mining? What is this thing? Am I mining? Yeah, I think I'm mining iron ore. I think this is iron ore and my iron ore is increasing. So this means I can now make some iron objects once I get uh, the building that uh, allows me to create those. And as you can see, the buildings are also still very early in alpha, so they're not particularly exciting. But there's a door, and this door has a reflection or refractions. Look at this. This is awesome. It has, uh, glass actually has refractions. Unfortunately, water is not as developed yet. So if I throw a drop in the water, it's just basically that doesn't have anything. But uh, from the surface, it does look good. Anyway, so let's go into my builder's hut, and if I click on this, uh, here's all my recipes that I can currently create. So I've actually already made something, it's called Mining Skill Scroll, which I think allows me to mine. 
I already know the skill. Anyway, I can basically give it to someone later. Um, and here we have all of these items you can create. So uh, both items and things like windmill that actually produces energy. Um, you can have cam uh, campfires. You can have skill books that teach you new skills. And oh, I need to make an archery skill book actually. Let's make one now because I don't have an archer yet. I'm going to make it right now. And if I click on it, I don't have to actually stand here, but it will take some time to make. This takes about two minutes to make. And then there is something called Civics Skillbook. And this is actually what makes this game really unique. Civics. Now, Civics refers to, I guess, laws or politics. And this is the thingy right here, laws. And actually, this is something that this game has that is absolutely unique to it. So in this game, you play with other people and you can essentially pass or propose new laws. I'm not, I'm not gonna click on this yet, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like right here because it's actually, it opens um, a link to a website that is your server's website. And I've already um, proposed a law that basically says this, more wolves everywhere. You may not kill more than five wolves per one day. In other words, I want to have a vote or a law that will be passed unless someone votes no and there's no one else on the server, so it will pass for sure, uh, that will prevent people from killing wolves. So if someone kills five wolves, they are not allowed to kill any more wolves for 24 hours. And you have a variety of laws that you can actually create and try to pass uh, on a server. So if you play in with other people and you realize that everyone just keeps taking away all of the wood and you just have no more wood left, you pass a law that says, listen, don't cut more than 10 trees a day. And as you can see, once you cut a tree, which I did right here, it doesn't actually grow back very fast. I think it, it might not even grow back at all sometimes. I, I noticed that some trees do not grow at all. So once you cut them down, which I'm going to do right now, and once I cut this tree down, First of all, you see there's actually an effect around the tree. All of the grass around the tree is now dead. So it does create a bit of pollution. So this game is called Echo because of that. Because it's all about ecology and learning how to live in harmony with nature. And how to basically um, create a very harmonious lifestyle with your surroundings. Um, now, the goal of this game is really simple. You're trying to stop that rock right there from smacking into your planet and destroying everything. Oh, my archer skill book is ready. Yay. Uh, let's go pick it up. Uh, and to do that, you need to inv uh, invent a lot of new technology. You have to mine. You have to um, create new buildings. You have to basically use the resources around you to try to invent a technology that will prevent this rock from smacking into your planet. And, and this is actually an actual planet. This planet is round and you can walk around it and you can come back to the same spot. But at the same time, as you do know this, as you're actually creating all of these new technologies and all of these new things, you are destroying nature. And as you're destroying that nature, you are basically causing, you know, you, you killing yourself. You're essentially causing the... Um, evolutionary extinction of your species. So if the rock doesn't kill you, you may actually end up killing yourself, unfortunately, which is why I think this game is brilliant, or at least the approach it's taken so far is brilliant, because it is going for this really realistic sort of environment friendly or environment um, conscious game that I think is something that games like Minecraft don't have unless you install certain mods. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a bow yet. I don't really... I need to discover how to make a bow. I'm still learning how to play this game. Like I said, it only came out today. I uh, don't know how to make a bow yet. I think I need to build a new building for that. Um, and so I'm going to show you how the buildings are built. Unfortunately, I don't particularly enjoy the, this part very much. It's not really fun yet. Hopefully, they'll change just a little bit. But so you... Oh, here it is. Yeah, Hunter's Lodge. So you discover new buildings. And what you do is... Let's just build it right now. You take... Um, you have to place posts around like this and until it's a certain size now i'm gonna do this and now you have to place this thing inside this will give you your uh your writ which is basically your your um your deed for this particular area meaning that this building now belongs to you so other people are not allowed to use it but what i have to do now is and this is the annoying part i have to now take logs and place them around this in this way so i have to actually create the uh oh, missed create the building by manually placing the logs and then closing this oh i keep missing oh i keep missing anyway let's just not do it here let's go in here i have this building that's already pre-made that i was going to show you that it doesn't have a writ yet so here we go so let's do it here and oh this is going to be too small i think this is going to be way too small 
But anyway, so if I were to place this in this location and then place this thingy here, uh, it now says that I have inner marked area of 20 over 16. So that's that's enough. And this will essentially, this is how you begin building these structures. You have to plan them out. They have to have specific volume, specific size. So there's a bit of a mathematical calculation involved in construction, and which also makes it quite educational. But I'm going to this, abandon this for now and uh, show this in more detail in one of the future videos because I'm going to be making more of these tutorials about this game. So you build these buildings and then you essentially create uh, a building and it will give you some sort of a new feature. Feature. like this one here gives me an ability to build new items uh, this one here gives me I think uh, a bow I guess to, to hunt animals uh, this here allows me to store my goods and this is a mine that allows me to mine and this is my home where I can actually have a chest to store some of my items and as you live your life here, as you basically explore the land and try not to destroy the environment, you learn that there's obviously several ways for you to acquire food. The more efficient way is to kill these animals and to eat their meat uh, by essentially cooking it on the campfire right here. So you can actually, if you have meat, you can cook the meat right here on the campfire. Now, that's one way. Or the other way is for you to farm. You can actually walk around, take a... a a scythe and uh, find plants and start scything them around and this will actually collect things for you so I've collected some grass I may actually collect some food here and that's also grass um, okay no food in here all right that's good that's good let's see if uh, any of these are ready yet I don't know how long it takes for these to to actually be finished but let's see oh this wasn't ready yet no I destroyed my plant let's actually replant it again Steak, uh, no, I don't want grass. I want something useful like uh, wheat. Uh, wheat is good, right? Let's put some wheat in there. So let's plant it again. I don't know how long, yeah, like I said, I don't know how long it takes, but it seems to take a really long time. So once these actually um, sprout, they will provide something that is similar to a potato. And I can then, oh, here they are. I'm going to just sky these around. Let's harvest these things. Uh, there you go. Uh, it's called a camas or camas. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a vegetable that I don't think is a real vegetable. And it is right here. Camas bulb. So I can now eat these and you can see that it's giving me calories and increasing my skill multiplier, but also my uh, whole body mass because I'm eating so much, but also this stomach is 72%, 71% full. So this is how you eat. You can also eat huckleberries that provide you with a little bit of stuff. Not as much, unfortunately, but a little bit. And also, these both of these items can be used to make certain things like skill books. And this is basically the essence. So you're trying to save the planet from the asteroid. You're trying not to kill too many animals or destroy too much nature because otherwise you're going to be dead. And you're also trying to pass new laws so that other players don't do the same and are respectful of the nature. Or you can go crazy and destroy and kill everything, of course. On top of that, you obviously have skills here that Minecraft doesn't have unless you have a mod. And these are really interesting because uh, basically they increase how effective you are or how efficient you are at doing certain things. And so in this case, I'm currently really efficient at logging, which is probably one of the more useful ones because wood is um, uh, something that I haven't really discovered how to replenish yet. So I need to be careful with how much wood I consume. This whole area right here that where I have my houses used to be covered in trees. You see there's nothing left, just grass because I've destroyed everything. And one thing I forgot to mention that is that this game also has an economy. And specifically, it has player-based economy where if I were to go to one of my buildings, and let's just say you build something that other players want to use, you can actually do this. You can assign how much it's going to cost for someone to use it. So let's just say I need, I really want to get more huckleberries. So I can actually put this. And now every time someone wants to use this, it will cost them some huckleberries. They will actually have to pay me in huckleberries if they want to use my, my bench. And this is absolutely awesome. I think this is a brilliant idea because even right now, this game has an open server for people to join and play. Well, by open, I mean, if you actually are one of the alpha supporters or if you've purchased the game you can actually join a server and there you'll find a lot of these benches a lot of buildings that people have that you don't have yet and uh, some of the people will just ask you for a little bit of payments you know pay them in the potatoes and they'll let you use this and uh, you can then build things without constructing the actual building because constructing a building is kind of challenging 
because wood is actually precious and because you can well right now at least it's a little bit buggy so you can easily screw up and this particular building is actually use, useless to me now because I can't seem to finish my finalize my construction so I'm gonna have to recollect all of these wood planks and rebuild the building from scratch and as you see that as soon as I start doing things, like if, as I'm starting to deconstruct this, my calories, uh, my calories are decreasing. So basically you start losing weight, you start losing energy. And this is what really makes it cool because it doesn't just take this uh, survival element as most other games do by giving you like a bar that, you know, decreases color or something, but it actually gives you an actual scientific sort of um, phenomenon here where you have calories and you have to replenish those calories by eating and by uh, making sure that you're always well fed. Now, I still don't know what happens when you reach zero calories. I don't know if you're going to die in this game. And there's obviously no monsters so far. And I don't think there's a way to kill each other yet. Uh, because there's actually no um, health bar. Uh, but all in all, I really like where this game is headed. I really think that for most teachers out there that have been looking for this one game that can help them teach various concepts, specifically ecology or um, biology or things like civics even, this is probably the game that you should take a look at because here we have so many cool concepts. I'm going to stop doing that. Um, you have so many cool concepts that are just brilliant. So you have your um, economics, you have resource management, management, you have building, you have uh, trying to preserve nature and try not to, you know, kill too many things. And you have obviously things like laws or proposing laws and then voting on them. So if you have, if you want to use this in class, for example, let's just say you have 20 students playing this, uh, maybe one student becomes a president and proposes a law and they all have to vote on it and then decide what is best for them to prevent destruction of this beautiful planet and to stop that asteroid. And I have a feeling that most of us will, in the, in the beginning at least, will always make a lot of mistakes and cause the destruction either by uh, depleting the resources completely, killing all of the rabbits, and then if you kill all the rabbits, no more wolves will be around and then obviously everyone dies and there's no meat left and you just have to live a life of a vegan but I think you get my point. So there's a lot of really cool opportunities here for education. There's a lot of really cool opportunities for exploration and for uh, a lot of really new and interesting goal-driven um, game elements that are kind of not really in other games yet. I think this right there is a constant reminder that this planet might end soon. And I think it's a pretty good reminder that you need to be careful with how you approach your survival here. So unlike Minecraft, you can't just walk around mining and trying to dig down into the planet and try to discover what's down there, which I think I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to do that in the next video. I'm going to just dig down and see what's up there or what's down there there is. Uh, but uh, you need to really think and plan things and possibly even sit down with your friends if you're playing this with someone and plan everything out. So anyway, so this is a game called Echo. It just came out. You can still buy it. You can still join the alpha. Um, it's not going to be officially out. I mean, the full version is not going to be out for at least possibly two more years. Uh, they're promising beta next year or possibly end of next year. Uh, but even right now, I think this is useful to explore just to see where this goes. Anyway, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm going to post the link for this game in the description below. And if you would like me to make more videos and explain something and you just don't want to buy this yet, uh, ask uh, or post a comment in the comment box below and ask me a question. Thank you so much for watching. This has been What the Math with Echo. I'll game you guys later and let me catch this rabbit because I am getting really hungry and this rabbit is way too fast for me and I have no bow so I'm gonna have to use the, an axe to kill it. Come back. Come back here. Oh, I got it. I got it. No. Oh, silly rabbit.